Triple O Seven, and today I'm doing a tutorial slash video review on a theme. I posted a picture yesterday on my Facebook page. I'm um, showing this this look right here, a transparent start menu, transparent Windows theme with a very cool abstract black and red with a little bit of silver background. After posting it, I got a bunch of likes, and a lot of people were asking where I can get it. So I decided to make an official video on how to get it, how to set it up, and how to make it look per perfect on your computer. So if you guys go to the description below, you guys can download this file right here. And after extracting it, you will get everything that you see besides that file out there, all these files. So in here we have a start button changer, the orb that I'm using in the corner here, the background that I'm using, and then the two other folders that we need. Now, um, the, the theme doesn't officially come with one background. Well, it does come with this one, but it kind of sucks, actually. But it does work with any background, so if you have your own cool background, you can easily use this one. Um, my dad likes this theme. He's not big into black and red themes, but I actually convinced him to put a custom theme on his computer. So I ended up putting this one on his computer. That way he can have a cool background, and he can see it all the time. So guys, to get started, your, your PCs only need to be patched for uh, third-party themes. So if you don't know how to do that, or if you have no idea what that is, you probably had to have them patch your computer. In order to do that, guys, just go to the uh, link description below. I'll have a video um, explaining how to do that. So once you've done that, guys, open up Windows. Uh, well, first of all, apply the wallpaper. So pick your favorite wallpaper. Um, you can use this one I provided. Provided, or you can pick your own. Once you've done that, guys, open up Windows 7 Button Changer. On the side, I'll show you current store of. So yours will be different, probably. Uh, this is the backup version, or you can go all the way over here, click that, and then find it. So go over to wherever wherever you downloaded this, and then click on it. Everything should flash away for just a couple seconds there, and then boom, you now have your custom orb. All right, so now to get the uh, custom start menu with the taskbar, in the download you'll have a thing called Full Glass v VS, which is vi Visual Style for Windows 7. Now, I usually promote a theme manager, which installs everything for you. Um, you still can do it, but for this theme, it's so small and uh, everything like that that I don't really think it's useless. So. To go to install your theme manually, guys, go to uh, Windows or C Windows Resources Themes. I will have that in the description too, just in case you need to look at it. Now, the default is C. Some of the different computers now have a uh, D, maybe. Pro yours is probably C, but uh, you should be able to find your Windows drive. Then go to your Resources folder. Then go to your Themes folder. In there, highlight the top two, so which is the A A arrow or A arrow A folder and A arrow A theme theme. Copy both of those. Go over here and paste it. Now I already have it obviously running, so I already don't have to paste it. So once yours is in there guys, you guys can scroll down to the first one at the top and click on it. And it should apply your theme. So technically guys you are done. Now what you have noticed is you'll have your custom start menu, but you won't have this background. And what I mean by that is, I will show you guys. You will probably have it like this. You should have this back black background. Now, if you want to leave the black back the black background for seeing purposes, go ahead and leave it. Now, if you guys want to have it like I had before, where it's completely see-through, even the Windows Explorer, you're gonna to need to run a program all the time. Now this program is about the smallest program you'll see. It's um, 540 kilobytes, kilobytes size. This is its little settings folder, so don't, don't delete that. Once you guys run it for the first time, it will automatically go into your area here. And just for proof how small it is, I I'm gonna pull it in the task manager. So you guys can see right here, um, the description for it is glassy look for black apps. Now right here guys, you guys can see that it's using zero CPU. So compared to other things that are using 
um, 51, you know, 10. This one's using next to nothing. It has a, a very small memory, and it's using at maximum three threads. This is while recording, obviously. It's a very small program. It creates zero lag. It will not slow your computer down at all, no matter what kind of computer you actually have. Now, that's about it, guys. Once you have that running, uh, you might want to open it up and just the options. It should, by default, have Explorer EXE and CMD EXE, so that you just leave those alone, unless you want to add more programs, which will create more see-through stuff. Now, uh, what I mean by CMD is your task, your thing is low, or your command prompt is a bit see-through, so you guys can see that. Now, if you want to have it start up with the with your Windows, which adds about a zero second more on, so I suggest it. Just go over to your startup here, guys, and hit enable. It will say automatically out. Then click save, and it will close for you. And that's about it, guys. Um, you may want to play around with your color a bit to make it more transparent. So when you first get it, it may not look completely transparent at the bottom. And by going to Windows Color and picking one, you guys can see that if I look at this, it's not like transparent anymore. But if I pull it all the way to the end, it's basically see-through. But it is a bit of a tint, so pick your favorite color. So my suggestion is either this one right here or this one right here. I prefer like this one right here, because it adds more. It goes to the background and it makes it more transparent almost. So you guys can see that right there. And that's about it, guys. So I hope you guys liked the video. Again, all the files that I used in this video will be available in the description below, along with another link to uh, patching your computer for third-party themes. Besides that, guys, I suggest following me on Twitter or Facebook because you guys can see desktop screenshots um, days in advance before they come out and uh, give me suggestions on next videos. If you guys have any, any questions, comments, or concerns, you can uh, contact me on YouTube, Twitter, or Facebook. And besides that, guys, have a great day. This is the Hacker 0007, and I'm signing off.